Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Joshua Mills is known as the golden preacher because of being coated frequently in heavenly gold dust. And I mean, I've, I've just never seen something like this. He is, every square inch of his body is coated. But God's expanding his knowledge of the glory. Now he's traveling to foreign countries without airplanes. He calls it being transported in the glory. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural! Now, Joshua, I can't wait to kind of pick your brain on the glory, because you're one of these people that were a forerunner in this. But you said the glory came with three progressive uh, supernatural experiences. Tell me about that. There were three very specific signs that began to take place. The first one was the fragrance of heaven would come and actually fill the atmosphere. When that began to happen, uh, people began to run to the altars. The second sign that happened was the oil, the supernatural oil began flowing. Um, I would get it a little bit, but it was happening for more of my worship team, the different... Now, when you say flowing, yeah. explain to me, flowing uh, from your hands? You know what? Supernatural oil literally flowing from our hands. Some would get it on the backs of their necks, some would get it from their foreheads, others would have it flowing from their feet. Do you find it's contagious? <laughs> that it, it spreads from one person to another? There's always an impartation in the Spirit of God. And so there is an impartation in these things. And it seems... So people watching us right now, they could start having oil on their, their palms? Actually, their I feel right now the Spirit of God, just even as you said that, that there are people at home that are watching this program right now and the glory is beginning to manifest for you. There's supernatural oil, I believe, even beginning to come in your hands right now as you're watching. Just thank God that His healing oil, His oil of peace, His oil of joy, His oil of goodness is coming to bring you miracles right now. Uh, this is what, from my viewpoint, you're known as. I mean, I would see pictures of you uh, at the piano, and I've seen a little gold dust on someone's face, etc. Right. But you get, I mean, you, you, you really go for it. I've <laughs> seen you coated in that gold dust. Well, you know what? When The more you get into the glory, the more the glory gets on you and in you and around you. And there's times when we go into that glory, and that was the third sign that God gave us, was the golden glory begin to manifest. It's an awesome and glorious thing. Sometimes it's hard for people to believe it at first when they hear about it because it seems so unusual. But the truth is when you get it yourself, you know that it's God. You know that it's the glory. Now, glory causes everything in the Bible to get unstuck for you. For instance, glory causes creative miracles. I have not seen this, but I have heard of this before. In India, you prayed for someone's eye. What happened? Right. I was praying for a young woman, and as I laid my hands on her eyes, where there, uh, or the sockets of her eyes, where there were no eyeballs, as I laid my hands. Uh, uh, by the way, it's <laughs> one thing to pray for someone to get rid of their glasses. It's another level to pray for someone that is blind and has eyeballs. But did you hear what he said? No eyeballs. Go ahead. As I laid my hands upon the sockets of her eyes, literally underneath my fingers as I was praying for her, I could feel eyeballs beginning to form under her eyelids. And it was a, there's no other way to explain it, but it's a supernatural, creative miracle of God. 
And we've seen these things happen time after time. I've prayed for people that had no muscle in their arm or very little muscle in their arm and muscle begin to come. I mean, these are the things that God is doing in His glory. He's taking nothing and He's making something. He's taking uh, the, what looks so impossible and He's making it supernaturally possible. This is probably why you're saying that now more than any other time is the time to press in for the glory. This is the time when God is wanting us to go further in His glory than ever before because there's so much new that's available for us. As believers, sometimes we've been stuck in a rut or we've been just used to the same old thing, but God's wanting to take us out of what's been familiar or what's been known and lead us into the dimensions of all that He has for us in the promises of God. Now, you say that God's glory is always progressive. Explain that. Well, I believe that revelation is always progressive. God takes us from the realms of faith into the realms of anointing and gives us faith and anointing to lead us into the realms of glory. Those three realms together, faith, anointing, and glory, those three sides, spiritually speaking, create a new dimension where we access the more of God, the greater of God, the fullness of God in all of His goodness and all of His glory. Now, that's good that you operate that way. But what about, what about you? What, what about the person that's looking at you right now and is saying, well, that's wonderful for Joshua, but can I? I haven't been to Bible school. I'm a housewife. I don't have time to pray like I want to. Can I move in this? I want to tell you this right now, that no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've been going through, God wants you to move in His glory to a place where you begin to live in this realm. There is so much more available for you. As you begin to press in under the anointing, there's going to be a flow of glory that begins to take over and ushers you into the newness of God. And, and the thing that you share, talk and teach about is, is in this glory. It's, it just happens. We don't have to do anything. Right. <laughs> I right. like that. There's an ease. There's a rest in the glory. It's flowing in the glory. It's not working. It's not laboring. We labor to enter into the rest. That's what the scriptures say. But when we're in the rest, it's in that place we just get to flow in the goodness of who God is. Now, you have an angel. As a matter of fact, he has three angels that travel with him, but one in particular intrigues me. He's an angel that causes miracles. Joshua is found there is a way to, co everyone has an angel, there's a way to cooperate with your angels and a way to muzzle your angels. We'll talk about that when we come back. <laughs> We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. Joshua, what is your best description of the glory? What is the glory? Well, the glory is God. God is the glory. It's His essence. It's His nature, His character, all that He is, all that He has. That's the glory. And when we speak about the glory, the glory is a person, the glory is also a place. Now, you did a study that uh, I haven't heard, actually I haven't heard anyone do, from the Hebrew and the Greek, there are three different words for glory, and they give you an understanding, when you understand the Hebrew and the Greek, of really what the glory is and how it manifests. Uh, let, let's start with uh, doxa. So doxa is 
a realm of glory. It's a Greek word, but it's a realm of glory that literally means the majesty, uh, the honor, the renown of God. Yeah, give God when, glory. Exactly. And when the doxa glory comes into an atmosphere, it brings a revelation of who He is. So it brings a revelation that Yeshua is Messiah. It brings the revelation that He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. When I was in Natchez, Mississippi several years ago, we were doing a healing meeting and I was on the keyboard leading worship. And I should have only been leading that worship for about half an hour, 45 minutes. But somewhere in the midst of worship, I felt the whole atmosphere shift. I can feel, I can feel that same atmosphere when I talk about it because my eyes were closed and yet I knew that I knew that I knew that Jesus Christ, the person and presence of Jesus Christ walked in from the left side of the room. And he literally walked into the auditorium and began ministering to us. Why didn't you open your eyes to look at Sid, him? I, I would have. I wish I could have opened my eyes. I don't know what to tell you. I, I couldn't open my eyes. That moment was so holy. It was so awesome that I just couldn't do anything but just be in his presence, knowing that he was ministering directly to me and to every other person that was in the room. How many hours were you there? So the amazing thing is we were supposed to only be there for a couple hours of the meeting. But it was all the way from the morning meeting until when the evening meeting was supposed to start. That's when we begin to notice that we've been in the atmosphere of glory all day long. Do you think you were changed by just being in that atmosphere? I know that I was changed because the first meetings that I went to do after that encounter with Jesus, Healing miracles began to explode everywhere. There's a whole impartation for creative miracles, healing miracles. The explosion happened because that's what happens when you get into the glory. Something begins to change. Uh, you know, the uh, Hebrew word for glory is my favorite word <laughs> for glory, uh, Shekinah. Tell me about the Shekinah glory. Shekinah is the visible realm of God. Uh, it actually means a settling or a dwelling. And so that's when the glory comes and tangibly, visibly presents itself, whether to a person or an atmosphere or situation. In the Shekinah glory, we see manifestations of all different kinds. The burning bush with Moses was Shekinah glory. Uh, we're seeing this today. I was in Budapest, Hungary last year, and the Shekinah glory literally began to open up upon a woman and her feet begin to glow like light bulbs. I'm not talking about just a tiny speck could, of gold besides dust. Besides you, could anyone else <laughs> see this? There was many people that saw this happen. And not only that, they took pictures of her feet shining like light bulbs through her shoes. It was a, remarkable. And there's a third word for glory. The third word for glory is kavod. The kavod is the weighty, heavy glory of God. And when the heavy glory moves in, you can feel the goodness of His blessing. You can feel the goodness of His strength, His might. You can feel the weight of His favor upon your life. I was in Pensacola, Florida, and the cloud of glory literally moved into the atmosphere. We could feel that weight. Miracles begin to happen of all kinds. People begin to give their hearts to Jesus Christ. It was awesome. But something that was so unusual that happened in that moment of the kavod coming, there was a golden handprint that came on my jacket. Jacket. Now, somebody said to me, that must be the, the hand of God. I told them later, God's hands are a lot bigger than that. I, I think it was my miracle angel that travels with me. I think that was the handprint that was on my jacket. Speaking of angels, uh, when you were a child, you, you, you saw angels and you, you had no handle. No, your parents didn't tell you about it. You didn't know anything. What did you see as a child? I guess I just expected that when I would go to church, that's where angels would be because that's where I would see them. Every time when I was in church in the worship service, I would see the angels literally flying around the sanctuary of the church. I don't remember them having any wings. They were dressed in beautiful, sparkling, shimmering robes, but they just seemed to fly with ease. And it seemed like their movement was worship to the Lord. I know that the more that we praise and worship, the more it ushers in the glory. In the presence of God's glory, is the presence of angels. In the presence of God's angels is the presence of glory. But then when you were older, you were shown exactly your angels, and they have different distinct functions. 
I had a dream when I was in my early 20s and I met my three guardian angels that had been assigned to my life. They actually came to me and they told me their names. They told me their very specific assignments. The first angel, he was assigned to work miracles, creative signs and wonders in my life. The second angel is the angel of the new song. He, bring, he watches over the sounds and the songs of heaven in my life. He brings them just like scrolls. He'll, he'll bring them from heaven and deposit them into my life and I'll just begin to sing the new song and the new sounds. The third angel that God's given me is the angel of boldness and supernatural strength. And I can feel when he comes. Actually, the funny thing is before I met him, I could oftentimes feel his presence, although I didn't realize that's what it was. Um, because there'll be times when I'd feel timid in the natural, but when the angel comes, I can just feel that supernatural boldness and strength to move into what I'm supposed to move into. But the glory, as you said, is progressive. And the glory is increasing to points beyond your wildest imagination and your wildest imagination uh, because Joshua found himself in one country and in a split second, he's in another country. And he didn't share this for many, many years because frankly, it scared him. And also he was afraid that many of you uh, wouldn't like something so biblical. Yeah, that's Biblical, it's called translation. I'll have him explain when we come back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now to get Joshua Mills' powerful brand new book, Moving in the Glory Realms, and anointed mini book, The Glory, scriptures and prayers to manifest God's presence in your life, and his dynamic two-part audio CD set, Experience His Glory. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9577. This must-read book, Moving in the Glory Realms, is one of the most extensive books ever written on the glory by someone who has operated in the glory realm for 20 years. Through Joshua's book, you will clearly understand what God's glory truly is. Discover the different realms of God's glory you can begin to experience. Find out that when the glory comes, healing, miracles, signs, and wonders will be made real in your life. Receive the keys of how to begin experiencing God's glory for yourself. Learn how to release and activate angels to move on divine assignments. You better get ready to live in realms of abundant manifestation. You will also receive Joshua's anointed two-part audio CD set, Experience His Glory, on CD number one. Spiritually unstuck, you will learn how to operate in the glory and receive your breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Discover about realms of faith, realms of anointing, and realms of glory. CD number two, Declaring His Glory, is an anointed soaking audio CD. Joshua and Janet Mills speak prophetic promises over you, promises for glory in your life, family, mind, health, and your future. You also receive Joshua's mini booklet, The Glory. This brand new booklet includes scriptures, prayers, and affirmations that you can use to see the glory made manifest in your everyday life. At any moment of the day, you have the ability to pull out scriptures about the glory and speak God's glory. Don't miss out on getting Joshua Mills' powerful brand new book, Moving in the Glory Realms, and his anointed mini book, The Glory, Scriptures and Prayers to Manifest God's Presence in Your Life, and his dynamic two-part audio CD set, Experience His Glory. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9577. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9577 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, how would you like to be in the country you're in right now? Just close your eyes for a second and find yourself in another country. You say, oh, that's too outrageous, Sid. No, it's in the Bible. Tell me a place, Joshua. In Acts chapter 8, verses 39 and 40, it actually tells us that Philip was baptizing an Ethiopian eunuch. And in a moment's notice, the Greek word is harpazo. The Spirit of God came upon Philip and literally plucked or caught him away in an instant so that he could no longer be seen. And he was carried tw about 20 miles down the road to Azotus. Why 
have you waited so long to talk about this experience in your heart of hearts? To be quite honest with you, Sid, I think for most believers, this testimony stretches them because it seems so absolutely unbelievable that this is, this could even be possible. But you know what, and with the glory that is coming, Joshua, it's, get ready to be, this is minor league compared to what's coming, but go ahead. The glory that God's bringing us into is a realm of acceleration, supernatural, a dimension of transport and translation in the spirit. God's taking us from one place to another place, out of our past into the promises that he has for us. And uh, quite a few years ago, I was ministering in a church in Pensacola, Florida. And at the very end of the meeting, I'd preach a nice message. At the end of the meeting, I lift up my hands and I was declaring different words of knowledge and just praying over other people. And the Lord had me declare this. Translation and heaven's transportation to the third heavens and to the nations. I'd never said that before. And I was thinking about everybody else at the moment. And in an instant, I was taken from that church in Florida. Suddenly I was standing in a whole nother location that I was not aware of, an unfamiliar setting. And I'm telling you, I was right there, just like I'm here right now. And uh, <laughs> what, what was, I, I have to ask you this, yeah. what were your first thoughts when you open your eyes and you're there, what, what was going on in here? Well, first of all, I was in an elevator, a little tiny elevator, crowded, mm -hmm. uh, full of people. And the thoughts going through my head is, this is crazy. Um, I, I felt a pang of fear hit me. Um, how am I going to get back? To Florida, how am I going to get back to my family? What's going on? I mean, it's so disorienting when that happens, and yet it was totally God, and I had to, in that moment, learn to rest in what God wanted to do. And so the elevator doors open. I walked out of the elevator into uh, an open lobby, and I walked all the way through right out onto the street. And at that moment, I had to trust that God would lead me, direct me, and that's exactly what He did. Now, would you, did you hear them speaking a language different than English? Well, I could hear them speaking a foreign language. I had no idea what it was exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't understand it, which boggles my mind because it was a supernatural encounter, and yet I didn't get the language. So I started praying in tongues, and um, as I walked down the street, I started seeing different things that looked somewhat familiar from books and postcards that I had seen. And uh, I ended up walking down the street into another building that looked like an office building. And when I walked into that building, I wasn't bothered by anybody. I walked right back into, I felt the leading of the Lord to go back into an office uh, section past the reception area. And when I walked back there, there was actually what I believe was a church gathers a prayer meeting and people were praying and I could feel the Spirit of God in there. And so I joined with them and I started praying and I prayed in tongues while well, they prayed in their language. And I believe some of them were probably praying in tongues as well. But um, that was all that really happened. And at the very end of, you know, the prayer meeting, what was happening, the craziest thing is I, I had business cards in my pocket, which I generally don't carry business cards. So I pulled the business cards out of my pocket and I started handing them out and I handed it to one particular businessman. The way that my faith connected was to go back to the elevator where I had come in. I know that sounds funny, but the Bible says so be I it. I think I would have done that. <laughs> so be it according to your faith, and that's where my faith was. And so I went back to that elevator and lifted my hands up and just began to worship the Lord. And as I did, I was literally back in the church in Florida where I had started. And the whole thing was so crazy and bizarre, and I was shaking under the presence of God's glory. I had a hard time uh, thinking about, you know, if I could even uh, communicate it, speak it. I, I couldn't really explain what had happened to me exactly. Um, but the strangest thing happened about two weeks following what happened? that encounter. Our office literally got an email from that man that I'd handed my business card to. He wrote me, thanked me for coming and invited me to come back anytime. And that just, that blew my mind. That was just that just topped the whole thing, you know? God is saying to you, I am that I am. All things are possible. Would you, I'll tell you what, would you just pray that we either experience or uh, be all, just open for this going? I know you carry an impartation. Absolutely, I would love to. Just lift up your hands right now. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you that you are releasing your manifest glory, the doxa, the shekinah, the kavod, in the lives of those that are watching. Lord, I thank you for unfolding accelerated miracles, favor, blessing, increase on each and everyone's life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Jesus taught us to pray, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When God sends his glory, it is heaven coming to earth. In heaven, there is no sickness, no lack. Heaven is a demon free zone. When the glory comes, there is peace, prosperity, healing, deliverance, unity, miracles, signs, and wonders. Joshua Mills wants to mentor you to begin living, moving, and operating within God's glory realms. The truth is God wants everybody to keep on moving in glory realms. God wants to take everybody in and on and up into the glory. Call now to get Joshua Mills' powerful brand new book, Moving in the Glory Realms, and anointed mini book, The Glory scriptures and prayers to manifest God's presence in your life and his dynamic two-part audio CD set, Experience His Glory. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9577. This must-read book, Moving in the Glory Realms, is one of the most extensive books ever written on the glory by someone who has operated in the glory realm for 20 years. Through Joshua's book, you will clearly understand what God's glory truly is. Discover the different realms of God's glory you can begin to experience. Find out that when the glory comes, healing, miracles, signs, and wonders will be made real in your life. Receive the keys of how to begin experiencing God's glory for yourself. Learn how to release and activate angels to move on divine assignments. You better get ready to live in realms of abundant manifestation. Get ready for the blessings, the favor, the increase of God to overtake your life because as you read and put into practice the things that are shared in this book, God's about to meet you in His awesome glory. You will also receive Joshua's anointed two-part audio CD set, Experience His Glory, on CD number one spiritually unstuck, you will learn how to operate in the glory and receive your breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Discover about realms of faith, realms of anointing, and realms of glory. CD number two, Declaring His Glory, is an anointed soaking audio CD. Joshua and Janet Mills speak prophetic promises over you, promises for glory in your life, family, mind, health, and your future. You also receive Joshua's mini booklet, The Glory, this brand new booklet includes scriptures, prayers, and affirmations that you can use to see the glory made manifest in your everyday life. Anytime, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you face, at any moment of the day, you have the ability to pull out scriptures about the glory and speak God's glory and meditate upon God's glory and declare God's glory and decree it in your life, in your household, in your business, no matter where you are. Don't miss out on getting Joshua Mills' powerful brand new book, Moving in the Glory Realm and his anointed mini book, The Glory, Scriptures and Prayers to Manifest God's Presence in Your Life, and his dynamic two-part audio CD set, Experience His Glory. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9577. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9577 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hi, I'm Chrissy Nelson. I had an encounter with the Holy Spirit one time and he said to me, Chrissy, God thinks you can do anything. And I want you to know that he thinks the same thing about you. So join me on the next It's Supernatural with Sid Roth and find out what it means to be created for the impossible.